you were part of a great tradition, a great surge at that time of mm -hmm. the protest singer, the people mm -hmm. like, you know, Seeger and, and Bob Dylan and Joan yeah. Baez. Didn't you also that? feel that you were sort of, no. you, you were out there because you wanted to sing certain things? I didn't feel part of anything. I've never felt part of anything. I didn't feel part of my own family. You know, when I was old enough, I just wanted to get away from everybody. If I, it had been the 1860s, I would have been on a train out, out west and I'd worked on a ranch somewhere or I'd have been a, a cowboy and I never would have come home. That's in me. I don't know why that is. But you, part of what you did was also to write the protest song. You wrote a song yeah. A, yeah. about Vietnam. You've mm -hmm. written a couple of songs about well, Vietnam. You said you were quite pleased when George Michael re-recorded one of those protest songs uh, uh, on the, uh, the, the, the when pleased. there was the invasion of Iraq. Very pleased. But I think an artist should be more than an entertainer. An artist should be a person who has a conscience, who speaks out about things. And that's another thing. You talk about the blacklist in the 1950s. Everybody always talks about the blacklist. Talk to the Dixie Chicks about the blacklist. They said one thing about the Iraq War, and they were out of business almost. Talk to Linda Ronstadt, who said something about the Iraq War, and she had a heck of a time getting work in casinos uh, after that happened. The blacklist is alive and well. And do you think it's always been part of the music industry? Well, I think it's worse than ever now, because you, you can't say anything about anything, and, and all of a sudden you just won't be asked back. There's no, there are no people in the streets now complaining about the things that we do. They don't, uh, people don't, the campuses are totally corporate now. They don't dare really get angry about the things they should. It's fascinating to hear you say this because a lot of people say that the music industry doesn't exercise the same control that perhaps it did back in the day when you were recording because, you know, there's all the streaming that people, that goes on, all the artists who sort of control their own destinies. But it sounds like you're saying, actually, it's safer than it ever was. The music business, as we knew it, is dead. There is no music business. U2 gave away their last record. Bob Dylan gave away 50,000 copies of his record. There's no music business. It's nothing but an investment in a, a PR um, tool for the next tour. That's what it is. And in terms of content, do you think that that's well, emptied out as well? I don't know. Well? I don't listen to everybody's records, but uh, and it's not it's not the content. It's the mind frame. It's this, it's a mindset of business and anyone who is really contrary, who says something that's really um, truthful and goes against cer certain things are going to find themselves blacklisted.